guess it's okay that it's snowing. Oh, here we go. Yes. Cool. What is up guys? Welcome back. Not much has changed. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this off. Should have mentioned before, still haven't done it. And probably remove all that. Possibly take the column out if it's easy. Um, I think this is gonna be hell because I'm sure I'm gonna have to like jump on the radius arm and try to get it off of the spindles. But anyway, um, tie rod ends, great. But anyway, the I think I'm gonna take that off, clean it up here because you can tell that the power steering fluid leaked and, and it's on here and it's filled up and it's pulling some of the old paint off that I put on there years ago. Running late in my vacation, so I've got a lot of business stuff done, a lot of social stuff done, and a lot of podcasts done, so I haven't been able to focus on this too much, but it's whatever. I was hoping and I'm still shooting for um, getting it running with like the front end back on it uh, for the show hanging dice in the end of May and I might be able to make that but I have April to get it done so it's probable and then I have um, I don't know maybe a week um, to when I get back from my vacation in May and I'll be that's, that's gonna be some fun videos and going to Cali, so. But, uh, yeah. Guess I better stop rambling and get to work. <laughs> Sucker's heavy. Jeez. Just wash, I'll just wipe my hands on a dried up gasoline towel. <laughs> so this sucker's been leaking like crazy. I guess it's been out of the front there because it Gravity's fed it down there. <laughs> so my plan is to try and run that rack and pinion. A couple of guys that know a lot more about suspension than I am say uh, bump steer is very probable. <laughs> and uh, so therefore possible. But, you know, just fabbing up some brackets and trying to make it work. Um, you know, you gotta give it a try and then give it a test run. Um, but yeah, the only annoying part is, is that if it does have bump steer, I'm gonna have to buy one of these and install it with, because I need the engine in there, you know? <laughs> so that's gonna be fun installing that with an engine in there, but hey, whatever. But hey, if I get the rack and pinion going, I just saved like 50 pounds. I guess that matters to a degree. <laughs>
Well, I guess I'll do a video on refreshing your column. This is uh, automatic. You can go to fortification.com and it'll talk to you about lengths between automatics and manuals and so on in years. But yeah, there's a rod in here that comes out when you uh, pull out your column. And uh, I think you can lube that up. I want to say there's some kind of pivot, like a bearing of some kind, like on a crank on each end. You got the spring and everything that comes out that uh, puts tension on your steering wheel. Uh, there's also a way to get rid of these uh, little pins or get these pins out. And uh, I also have a new collar, I think this is called for a manual. So, yeah. Because if I ever go back to automatic, I ain't going to be doing this. I'm going to put it on the floor, you know? So, cool. I'm going to do a video on that if you guys are interested. So, here's my rag joint, right? I think they're called like coppers or something. But uh, this is new. I can't remember how many years ago I put it on. Let's just say five. And look, it's already splitting. <laughs> It'll make things like they used to. Watch this channel. I say that a lot, I think. This idea though, I'm sure it's been done before. This is just too easy. Great. But here is that shaft that comes out of the column, right? And here's where the kind of attaches like yeah, it attaches like that, right? And uh, for your rag joint and all that jazz, this end attaches to your steering gearbox. Well, I was thinking about coming up with a bracket that I could fit on here to... Well, hell, look. <laughs> you get some of these, you know, elbows, whatever you call them. There's already, I mean, similar. I can't really show you on camera, but when I match these up, the teeth on this, which are probably too close for this camera, on this, uh, look to be the same as this and if they are then I just need to find a rod with that many teeth maybe out of that steering gearbox um, probably too short though but yeah if I just found that then yeah I can make that work the only difference is or the only problem I guess is that I have this and I probably would have to get more of this and cutting it and everything but the other end is like huge and threaded. I don't necessarily want to replace the uh, sides, so I don't know. Hmm. I do have that one though. I just don't know how many. You know. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's cool. I don't have to modify. You know, if I if I find a rod or just anything that'll work. If I have to, you know drill a hole in there and add one of these right here then I will you know to kind of hold it in there maybe even I don't know two holes <laughs> but uh, yeah that's on like I said if that which you can't see it in front of you there if that uh, rack and pinning works of any in any way so I don't know but hmm, it's a fun idea I love stuff like that when you can get just, you know, like you have it in your head, thinking about it, looking at other videos, looking at pictures, other people's trucks, and then you can use your steering gear, or your rag joint here, up your steering gearbox to work. That's cool. Uh, probably not a good idea, because the point of these rag joints is to, the rubber sort of gives it a little bit of, little bit of I don't want to say, I don't want to say play, which it does, but uh, if I made this solid metal or like a really solid plastic, uh, this rubber part, and put it in there, that would be nice. But I'm sure there's a purpose, I'm sure it's some kind of dampener in your steering, you know, this rubber back in the day was supposed to be. But then again, I don't need it if I'm running that. So, rack and pinion. Huh. Kind of fun. This one for some reason is all messed up on the inside. So I'm gonna smooth it out and I'm pretty sure besides length, I have everything I need to attach basically the rack and pinion to these, to the steering column, so that's cool.
come on. Why it's almost there. Why is that so snug? I guess it's okay that it's snug. Oh, here we go. Yes. Cool. So here's the rack and pinion. And I guess on rack and pinions it's like sort of two teeth and then rounded. And that's what this is. So put it right on there. I've got a bolt to go right there. And then I have this. You guys can tell. Slide right in there. Booyah. And then on the end of this. So yeah, attaches to there. I can adjust length here. I mean, these are kind of, I don't know, are these cheap somewhere? I can't find them. I can find them expensive and then that, and then that thread or that uh, teeth pattern I said matches close what I assume that. So if I find a rod to fit in there, then bam. Even if it's real short or long, I have some adjustments there too. Dude, I mean, I wonder if I'm gonna have to put another Elbow in here, but I'd rather not. Sweet! Exciting stuff. You know, some of you guys, you know, know this stuff way more than I do, and you probably know that racket penny doesn't work in these tracks, and that's okay. It's just fun trying to figure it out, you know? And uh, definitely not gonna, you know, throw a rack and penny on it and then go 100 miles an hour or take sharp turns all of a sudden. I'm gonna see if it works, if I can get it on there. Um, it's the next adventure, I suppose. So, probably what you guys already saw. Depends how I edit it, I guess. Uh, you guys will see what's already been done. I'll just do a quick review. <clears throat> Took out booster. Talked about that in another video if you guys want to see it. Took the column out after I took the steering gearbox out. The power steering. And right now I'm working on... I might get to this. I haven't decided if I'm going to just start fresh on all of the uh all of the brake lines probably should actually since you know while i'm at while it's out while i'm here and then uh you can see i'm taping off for a future paint job kind of got ahead of myself on that i just wanted to paint it and i realized there was all this stuff to do so <clears throat> but yeah steering gearbox off also i found out it's easier to take out your drag link with the steering gearbox in so lesson learned but uh, rack or sorry the drag link is still in there and uh, yeah columns out it's over here definitely you're probably gonna do a video on that on freshening up your steering column gonna repaint that piece the uh, collar I think it's called up there it's right here I think this is for a Ford a car or truck but it might be off a Mustang uh, paint it black and then I won't have any you know shifter stuff except obviously uh, I'll keep the uh, steer you know the signal but uh, yeah so all that jazz so video on that for sure but yeah and then uh, last but not least whatever I did with it got this fashioned up I'm sure I'll be using this on another video. I'm not quite sure on what I did here. Obviously, I'm not going to use the zip ties, but the theory is that this is uh, called a quadrant, and it's off Mustangs and various manual uh, through Ford and other makes. And uh, when it's in there, you know, using a cable, it's going to hopefully, you know, pull on the cable to release the clutch fork and all that jazz. Good job, Craig. And uh, 
yeah so fun stuff coming she's uh she's coming apart that's for sure fun fun well guys i'm gonna end it there yep got a lot to do but i love it you know it's like if this was my daily and i had to do all this i'd be freaking out but you know that's what's nice about these classics is that if it pisses you off you just walk away for a bit you know and uh all that jazz god i still have to take still have to do that oh uh, well um so yep end it here i'm gonna get some more work done thanks for watching guys uh keep referencing all of these fortification.coms fortifyhunterworld.com uh, you know, the Fort of Harmworld Facebook, Build It Your Way Facebook, Steel Beauty, so on and so forth. That's all on Facebook, if you can't imagine. Uh, and I uh, recommend you guys going down there. You guys can find it in the description, uh, as well as another YouTube channel that I'm just slowly adding forward only content to called Fort of Harmworld. Original, right? Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, click that like if you're watching this on youtube and if you're watching it on the facebook groups appreciate you guys you guys are awesome members you're the ones that make the facebook groups so great thanks guys